welcome to the July edition of the Euroshape Challenge podcast. With me is Jace. Hello. And Cy can't make it because he's got some issues. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the sub off the bench and we've got Terry. Boo. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> I think the first section we go for is what have we been playing. I've got quite a long list here, so let's start with Jace. Hello. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, what have we been, been playing? Play? Yeah. Um, I've been playing a few little things, mate. Um, nothing of note on the Xbox. Um, I really haven't been touching it at all. I haven't had a lot of time to. More Borderlands 2, and that's about it. Okay. Um, been playing some indie stuff on the PC mostly um, a few of which I'm sure we'll talk about in the what we've picked up section <laughs> I'm sure we will um, that, that's about it mate, not, not a great deal uh, work's getting busy and life's getting busy and um, it's too hot to play games yeah yeah I know what you mean Terry hello, it's been a while it um, has yeah. oh, obviously you won't pick anything up from the last time so Absolutely everything nothing. you'll be playing will have been off your pile nothing major you know it's um, I mean first one on my list is a little indie title called The Last of Us <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure if you guys heard of that but um, yeah I yeah, I, could, I couldn't help myself to be honest with you um, you think it's an excuse but yeah I, I did trade some stuff in for that and lost quite a lot because of it but uh, yeah it's one of those but yeah uh, um, yeah, it's a fantastic game. Um, okay. Yeah. Any more indie titles? Uh, um, well, kind of the update for Minecraft. So, you know, horses, woo! Um, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, now uh, we've got that. Um, XCOM Enemy Unknown, I've been playing that on both. Um, I got it free on PlayStation Plus and okay. then uh, started playing that on iPad. And I'm not really big on those types of games. Um, but, yeah, I, it's fucking awesome. I don't know what it is about it, but I really fucking enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's uh, that's that. And then um, the new one that came out, Deus Ex: The Fall, uh, which is kind of like a sequel to Human Revolution, but it's on the iPad. Okay. And th yeah, that is fucking stunning for a uh, an iPad title. Um, it looks pretty much the same as the console versions. It plays pretty much the same. Um, it's got that open world vibe to it, and it is a really good storyline. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to play that game, and to say that I've got it on uh, on an iPad is, is brilliant. I can take that anywhere with me. Um, and the last one is a regrettable one, but uh, I, yeah, I got Deadpool. What do you mean by regrettable? <sighs> okay, I, I like Deadpool, the, the character in the comic books, but this game is not very good. Okay. And I did read reviews beforehand that said that it wasn't a very good game unless he was a fan of Deadpool the humour just he says the same kind of five lines over and over again and we're in 2013 and that shouldn't be happening yeah yeah um, the, some of the jokes in it are pretty funny but if you're not into that kind of self-referential stuff and like all the you know the fourth wall you know breaking sort of thing it, yeah. you're just going to hate the hell out of it but uh, yeah the, the co oh god it's not very good Okay, <laughs> but yes, they they were the ones I've been playing anyway. But yeah, Deadpool was not very. Yeah, Deadpool was not a good game. <laughs> okay, um, I went back to my pile and I've been playing games off my pile as if we were in like a challenge. Okay, what's uh, that? So <laughs> I uh, went back to Dust Elysium's Tale. Um, I thought I'll go through here and I'll spend the next like ten fifteen hours cleaning up all these chivos. Then I thought, really. There's so many other games I could be playing and we're getting, well, we are getting quite close to the end of the challenge now. And I thought, there's so many other games that need my attention. So I didn't bother. Uh, I just deleted it. Uh, went back to Arkham City and did the Harley Quinn DLC. I managed to avoid, well, uh, as many of the um, the phone boxes going and the cameras and the, <laughs> the puzzles. Doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, because I started in there and I spent an entire night just doing, you know, the side quest. I'm like, I must stop doing this. I've come in to do the DLC and get it off the pile. <laughs> so so that's done. Um, went back to Defense Grid. Found I was only three levels from the end. So I finished that off. Um, went back to Limbo. Found out I was uh, about halfway through. Another two hours. Got that finished off. Uh, went back to Peggle. 
I noticed I was on um, level 11-2, and I thought, fucking hell, I've only got three levels. <laughs> so I bounced through those and just got that done. Um, you haven't finished that game, have you? No, well, uh, so... Not this the way I've finished that game. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way I was going to justify it. I was going to say, right, so I've completed 11-5, so I, I've seen the... the uh, I, I've now unlocked the extreme mode or whatever it is. Then I thought, I, I haven't Jay Stokes completed it, though, and I'm never going to, so <laughs> it's deleted no, Only real men can, can get all the achievements on that game, mate, so um, <laughs> don't, don't feel too sad. <laughs> Which I can imagine, to be honest, I was flicking through and there's all the leaderboards and it's like every single one, it's Jay Stokes, Jay Stokes, Jay Stokes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, I went and played um, Rage all the way through, so that that's probably the biggest game I've played over the month. Blimey, you got to the end of that. Yeah. Well, that's a big I, one. It's not, you know. Is it not? No, is it? You can get it done in about 15 hours. Oh, it's, it's a very good at making it look a massive game, but it's a very linear game. It, That's it, probably what turned me off it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I, I was So I was expecting to drop 40, 50 hours into it. Going, So I, so I thought it was kind of like going to be a Borderlands, that kind of thing, but it's not. It's very, very linear. You've got like varied hub worlds, haven't you? And, like kind of various little bits and pieces like connecting them from like what I remember playing of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't a bad game. I mean, visually, absolutely stunning. Uh, the AI was amazing. And to be honest, it's off the pile now. Job done. Uh, and the other one I've completed is Toy Soldiers. I completed that on Sunday morning with an extreme hangover. I couldn't be bothered getting out of bed and it was on the hard drive. So, uh, But again, if you like your town defence games, that's got a nice little twist to it. The fact that you can just get into any of the turrets and control them or any of the vehicles and stuff. So that's very good. Um, there's been a handful of games I've kept just dipping back into, which I'm never going to complete. Um, is Motorstorm RC, Everybody's Golf. Super Mario 3D Land and Mario Kart 7. Um, and then there's a handful of games. I mean, I've done a massive cleanup on the list. If you look there, I'm up to something like 68% complete now. Just because I've been going through and just giving it crap, 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 crap. Playing something for 20 minutes, crap, crap. I mean, it's like um, one of the games I picked up from the Summer of Arcade last year, which was um, Hybrid. Played that. I played it for twenty minutes. I'm like, "What the hell is this?" And I'm pretty much deleted it. It's, it's all multiplayer. And it's all a bit quirky. I, I did as you suggested, Jess. So the Dorito Crash Course Two. Yep. Um, Twenty three minutes before it was paid to play. You did well. <laughs> oh, no, so I'm like, <laughs> uh, so did as you said. Picked up the free Chivos. Deleted it. Job done. Uh, I think to be honest, I did the same because I saw him flash up on. Um, um, this is um, Cy Stevens is playing. <laughs> uh, Dorita Crash Course 2 I'm like oh okay <laughs> and I think he lasted about the same went through um, a few others so I had one connect game left which was uh, Reketeer again played about five minutes thought, thought bollocks and uh, deleted that and the connect is on Fleabay nice oh Obviously, yeah th th that kind of like says good for the Xbox One with the connect you know included well th that's that's what I was thinking I mean the to be honest I mean my TV's it's only a normal size TV, and I can't, I don't have room for a PlayStation Eye, a Connect, a Connect Two, and the new PlayStation camera and the Wii bar somewhere. I'm going to need like a stack of shelves on top of it. You still have a Wii? Uh, yes. Oh, God damn. <laughs> it hasn't been switched on for about three years, but it's still there, and the controls get charged every day. Does it look sad? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, start playing stacking. And I just couldn't get to grips with that. Um, I don't know if either of you played it. It's nah. the Russian doll game thingy. I heard some good stuff about it, but yeah, and didn't really appeal to me, to be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe I needed to give it more time, but I probably put about half an hour in and just didn't get it. So, um, went through my Sonic games, and I just thought, why do I have these on the Xbox? Because it's played Sonic. Yeah, but I've played them a million times. I've completed them back in the days of the Mega Drive and Mass System. Um, they're only 8-bit graphics, and it's just like, why? So you again, can get achievements. But again, I, I deleted them and thought, let's just work and concentrate on current gen. Um, so yeah, m massive, massive cleanup. And um, I'm sitting quite pretty at the moment. That sounds like them well, mate. Fair days. Yeah. So what have we picked up? Yes. Um, <laughs> don't bully me, first of all. <laughs> right, what have I picked up? Uh, on the Xbox, I had some points left from my last 
out him with Now TV. Um, picked up Spelunky when that was on for 600 points because I wanted that for ages and ages and ages. Okay. Uh, picked up some Borderlands DLC that was on offer last week or week before, yep. which I've wanted for ages and ages. So that cleared out all my points. And Defense Grid I got for no Microsoft points as well. So um, no actual purchases there. <laughs> and then I'm also waiting for Now TV because I cancelled Now TV and now I'm resubscribed because they sent me an email saying, Do you want 2,400 Microsoft points? Um, give us eight ninety nine. You can have a month of Now TV, and we'll give you two thousand four hundred points. So um, oh, wow. I couldn't say no to that. That's like free money, really. Okay. Um, so I've done that. So I'm waiting for those points to come through now, um, and just cancelled Now TV. Okay, let's uh, let's step it up a bit. So uh, we went to Res, didn't we? We did. And yeah. There were lots of codes going around for games. There were indeed. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, in my defence, right, here we go. I'm going to do my, cave- I'll do my caveats before I start. Hang on, let me just sit back. Right, go on. Sit back for the caveats. Right. Um, as we all know, PC wasn't on my initial list, and this is my first Steam sale ever. So, right. um, there's, there's my little caveats. Take, make of those what you will, really. To start off with, um, after the res, I got a code for XCOM for the princely sum of five pounds. Which is cheaper than the iOS version, so yep. I got it on the PC. Okay. I could have got it on iOS and been a total loophole, but I went for the cheap option. Um, it's all about the bargains now. Steam sale was on, and I thought, <laughs> right, there's a couple of games that I've got there um, on the shelf for the Xbox, which I've never opened, never played, and um, I've swapped them for digital ones. So I've got Just Cause 2 was on for something daft like £2.50 the other day, so I got that on the Steam sale, and I'll probably make that back on eBay for my copy of Just Cause 2, which hasn't even been opened. Okay. Um, I also am going to get rid of my copy of Assassin's Creed 2, because that's free at the moment on the Xbox. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. as we speak. Um, and then I decided I can't really go through my first Steam sale without buying anything, so I've really tried to hold myself back. I haven't dropped on the things I was going to. I, I told you I was, I was seeing lots and lots of bargains on lots yeah, and lots yeah. of sites the other day. So... Grid 2 that I really wanted, I saw for 15 quid. I didn't drop on it. Far Cry 3 I really wanted, I saw that for 9.99. I didn't drop on it. Um, there's lots of other games I didn't drop on, but then I thought, I'm going to spend some money, so I'll see what I can get for a tenner. And I went and I was looking through loads of indie games that I wanted for ages and loads of ones that were really heavily reduced. So on the first day, I think I got 11 games for £10. <laughs> Which was nice. <laughs> um, since then, I've picked up a couple of ones that I've had on the wish list for ages. Um, Rius, that was at uh, Res that you might have played there. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple of other little ones that I've really wanted. Um, FTL. Um, that's about it, really. I've, I've picked up a few, but I haven't gone for any big games. I haven't spent a massive amount of money. Um, all of what I've spent has come out of my last bit of my PayPal. So I need to get back on the eBay stuff. Um, I don't think I've done that bad, really, mate. Come on. No, no. Um, we'll put it this way. Based on the daily screenshots that I get of all the games that you're actually interested in, I think you've done very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to show some some <laughs> modicum of uh, holding back, mate, to be honest with you. Yeah, because uh, um, basically it's a daily email with uh, a picture of, like, grid, and it just says, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, mate, you know how much I want that game. I love my cars. Yeah, you know, I yeah, absolutely. I love my driving games, and Grid just looks fantastic. It's, it's got all the things I want in it. And yeah. I think when the challenge is officially over, that's the first game that's going to go on my Xbox. Okay. Um, that's the one I've missed the most. So, yeah, I've done all right. Cool. Uh, what have I picked up? So, I uh, Tekken Revolution was free on the PlayStation. So I picked that up, had a couple of games. Uh, f- very similar to um, Dorito Crash Course. Got a few trophies for no, deleted it. It was okay. Borderlands 2, I picked that up when it was on the um, Ultimate Sale thingy. Um, bought it for 8 99 so I had a digital copy. Mine went for £8.53 on Fleabay, so that's not bad at all. Nice. Winning. Yeah. Um, had some cash in the PayPal, so I picked up um, another 12-month Xbox Live membership um, and also picked up PS Plus, but the voucher is still in my email and that will wait until the 24th of September. <laughs> Doing it right. 
<laughs> expires 23rd of September. <laughs> no, I actually checked that. It expires uh, 2015, so we're all good. No, it's not too bad. Um, so, yeah, I picked up both the codes, so I'm I'm very much looking forward to um, PS Plus. Um, there's a lot of games that I am wanting to play and I have missed out on, um, like the XCOM and things like that, um, which hopefully should all be there by the end of the challenge, um, especially with the Vita as well. Um, so... Uh, and then finally, um, I got gifted the game on last Friday. Oh, a workmate uh, ran out of juice. Um, he rung me, he says, oh, come help me out, blah, 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 blah. We were talking in the car while I was taking some petrol, talking about the Steam sale, which he already knew about. And about eight, nine o'clock on Friday night, I just got an email through just saying, oh, you're being gifted FTL. And I was just like, no! Win. Scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> now... I mentioned earlier that I haven't opened Steam for the Steam sale for this very reason because the last time I opened it says you have received a gift accept or decline and I'm like close 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't actually accepted it yet I'm doing I'm, it wrong no well doing so, it totally wrong mate. that's the opposite of what you should be doing <laughs> if somebody gifts you a game for, for doing it you've done it for no money you've entirely within the, the rules even your rules yeah I know but well Let's let's get to the thoughts and feelings bit, and then we'll discuss. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, what have we missed? Right, so I, I've missed a handful of games. Uh, Last of Us, it, it's it's on my rental list. It, it's still getting quite a good buzz, and I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, I, as I mentioned earlier, PS Plus. I, I do subscribe to the emails from Sony and the, the likes. And I see all the games that are coming up. I'm thinking, oh, God, <laughs> I could really do with that. Um, but I've been good. Um, I will wait until the beginning of the, um, the end of the challenge. And then I'll, I'll put the code in for the PS Plus and get all those freebies through. Um, I did have only a FTL because it was down to 166 on good old games. Um, but really? uh, assuming I accept it on Steam, for uh, then I'll have that. Um I would have dropped on Far Cry 3 and Crisis 3 on the Ultimate Sale because they were both down at 8 um, but I was very good. And the biggest game, and again I'll, I'll cover this a little bit more in the thoughts and feelings for me, is Animal Crossing. Now, Jace, I've... Is I've that Animal Crossing or, as it says in the notes, Animal Motherfucking Crossing? <laughs> <laughs> animal Motherfucking Crossing. That was the official name before they renamed its new leaf, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um... It, it's hard to explain, um, but it's a game that I played a lot on the DS. And um, again, I'll go through this in thoughts and feelings. And it will also explain the intro music. Um, but it's a game that I do desperately want. And I've nearly come apart on this challenge. I've got money in my PayPal account. I know you can buy a digital code at Game, um, which is an instant code. And they accept PayPal. So I could use Terry's logic and get Ooh. that now. What? <laughs> what? You was the one that sh you sent me an email last <laughs> night or a text message telling me about the fact that the wonders of digital copies, and then you proceeded to send me a text message of like how cheap the codes were on game. Yeah, you're an enabler. <laughs> <laughs> you are causing me to do these things. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just living through you. <laughs> yeah, you live vicariously through me. You tell me what games you want to play, and I will fucking play them for you and enjoy every second. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do this and then because you can bash him family everyone and I love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, Jess, what have you missed? I haven't really missed a lot, mate, to be honest with you. Um, the big games that have been out, you've already mentioned. Mm. Um, Last of Us, I was never going to play anyway because I can't be doing with the three months of updating my PS3. Mm. So that was never going to happen. Um, mm -hmm. Big games, there's not a lot of them about anyway, so there's not a great deal to miss with the summertime stuff coming on. Obviously, everything's all focused on next gen now. Yeah, yeah. Um, come back next month, we'll talk about what's being missed because um, Saints 4 is coming out and yes. stuff like that. So we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, my biggest miss is still Grid 2, as I mentioned last time out. Mm. Cool. Uh, Terry, uh, uh, is there any games that have come out that you've not bought? I mean, uh, missed? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much. Um, yeah, the, I've not had a decent PC slash Mac to actually indulge on the Steam sale. Um, so kind of seeing that build up about it was just kind of exciting. So I kind of had a look on there and um, Hotline Miami kind of stuck out to me. 
Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen anything about that, but it's like a, it's like a, a pixel, just blood gore fest. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, it's good. <laughs> is it? <laughs> But yeah, I saw that going for cheaps and thought, yeah, um, FTL, like you guys were saying, um, I don't know much about that game, but I'm just hearing a lot of buzz about it. I think um, it's still 174 on uh, Steam. See, maybe. why are you doing this? Again, there you go. <laughs> You're just doing it again. Am I going to have to buy this live of on, on the podcast? <laughs> um, apart from that, no. <laughs> um, I started putting stuff on eBay again so I can build up that next gen fund which is all good the next gen fund the next game fund yeah well yeah this same for a fall like you said um can we just mention really quickly nolan north announced center of four making it even more awesome than it already is yeah he's going to be the, one of the voice actors on there he's confirmed in fact there was a long list of people that were announced today and i was just like jesus this is a proper old star cast i really can't wait for that game so that's going to be hard work when that comes out, um, I'm going to be very twitchy. You can leave it vicariously through me, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to take one for the team, are you? <laughs> yeah, that's the one, yeah. You're a good lad, you're a good I, lad. I said, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts and feelings. I don't know about yourselves, but I can, I can see the end in sight, and it's actually making it harder for me. Oh, we're on about the challenge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did wonder. <laughs> um, so basically, I've been I've been looking through my list of games, and I'm thinking. So the way I've got it all planned out now is uh, the challenge ends. Um, I'll pick up Animal Crossing um, digital copy on the way down to um, to Eurogamer. I'll plug in the PS3. Uh, sorry, the uh, PS Plus. Uh, my rental also starts again so realistically i'm going to be sorted for games so i'm thinking based on what games i've got left um if i exclude any games that are, are, are not going to expire so to speak so basically any uh, 3ds games any vita games any um, steam games or any corp games so um i'll be keeping a couple of consoles just so me and alice can um, run through a lot of the corp stuff um there's so much we've still got to play um I'm down to about 20 games left, um, and only seven of those are physical copies, Bloody which I'm actually blimey. shocked. Um, well, in fact, no, sorry, I'm looking at the list, there's 16 games. Now, granted, um, Assassin's Creed went back onto that list today because I picked that up, um, but we've got Red Dead to get through, um, and this Skyrim DLC. Uh, apart from that, all the rest are quite small games. so. My gut feeling is I'm going to be through this pile before the end of the challenge. Jesus. I know. Christ. Never thought it would happen, did we? <laughs> no. But to, to be honest, I have deleted a lot just based on the fact that it's that was an okay game, but it doesn't warrant my time. Um, not with If you think by the when the challenge ends, it's just going to be an explosion of games for me, and then the next-gen consoles are coming out. I've pre-ordered both the Xbox and the PS4. Um so again I, I think i'm going to be set so it'd be nice to draw a line in the ground so to speak and just say right that's it we're done with those so yeah i'm i'm really happy with how far i've got congratulations uh, sir well yeah you're doing well my respect Fair yeah, play. you see that that's what happens when you actually play the games that are in your pile <laughs> yeah. i have a very small pile <laughs> that's what she said giggity <laughs> <laughs> children <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> right now i'll just explain the intro music um if you two haven't heard it um it, it's a little snippet from devil woman by cliff richard um so this challenge as you know i'm, I'm starting to twitch a bit and i'm finding it quite hard so we went to res uh jay so unfortunately we didn't quite cross paths in there but um i was in there with the good lady and um i Obviously, I took the 3DS with me and I was getting a lot of street passes and stuff. And she's like, oh, what are you, what are you doing? And so I explained what I was doing. She's like, all oh, right, okay. Uh, I went, look, look, Animal Crossing must be out because everybody I've met in here is playing bloody Animal Crossing. She's like, oh, I remember that from the thingy. I'm like, <laughs> right, okay. I shit you not, on the way back, she was driving. We called into the Tesco's on the M6 and she went and picked up a 3DS XL and Animal Crossing. And she's done nothing but fucking play it since. <laughs> <laughs> doing it right i know but the worst thing is she's 
she'll she'll say, "Oh, look, look what I've got," and just keep showing it me. And I'm like, "Oh, yeah, that's nice. Fuck off." Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> and she'll do evil things like she's going, "All oh, right, I'll just go make a brew. Can you, can you just go and shake those trees for me and just hand it over?" And I'm like, oh, "Thank you, thank you very much." <laughs> shake um, those trees, evil. Oh, that sounds amazing, mate. I'm gutted. I'm not shaking trees for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. Anyway, but so she's doing that. Um, and I was like, right, you bitch. Um, and then the other day, the Steam this weekend and all the rest of it, and um, she was flicking through the Steam sale and she went, oh, FTL, that's that game you keep going on about, isn't it? I went, yeah, yeah, it's, it looks quite nice. She went, oh, I bought it. <laughs> like, what? I look over and she's got FTL on the screen. She's like, hey, this is quite good, you know. I'm just like, you bitch. <laughs> Run away, Darren, run away. <laughs> oh, I know. The pressure, mate. The pressure. She's making this challenge so fucking hard. What you should do is just, like, kind of just move out your house for a couple months. Just go into, like, a solitary confinement. <laughs> just escape from the games. <laughs> <laughs> just take my existing pile and work offline. Yeah. yeah, we'll give you a computer and microphone so you can still record this. But yeah. other than that, no access to games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I'm doing good. I'm getting through my pile. Um, she's making life very, very hard work. Um, but she is what she is. Uh, Jess, thoughts and feelings? Oh, oh, what do I say? What do I say? Um, I'm looking over my left shoulder and I've still got a massive pile of games. And the reason I've still got a massive pile of games is because I don't get any time to play them. And <laughs> most of the ones that are up there are now not worth selling either. They're not worth any money. Um, the likes of I can see on the bottom shelf Rainbow Six I'm not going to get any money for that um, Rage Fallout L.A. Noir. there's loads of games there that I can't get any money back for and it isn't mm. really worth it I've been looking on the trade-ins on game and stuff and they're going to give me a pound each for them yeah um, and yeah that'll probably still be 50 quid but really do I want to get rid of that many games for 50 quid when I can put them together with a console when I sell it and uh, put it together as a bundle so I don't know um, what I'm trying to say is I'm never going to play my console games <laughs> I've got to the conclusion now whereas I was the favourite to finish my pile at the start yep. um, my life has my gaming habits have changed so much so I'm never going to do it now and I'm kind of resigned to that fact Yeah. Um, so mostly now I'm just playing little bits of snippets on the PC um, once or twice a week I have my main Xbox session and that's about it so the challenge really is applying to me less and less yeah yeah but there you go mate that's, that's what happens over the space of a year you know you can't uh, predict that things are going to stay the same no absolutely I mean to be honest I mean I uh, again I mean I had like a massive game in funk for a couple of months as well um, and I thought I was going to get nowhere near um, it'd be interesting to see how close I do get towards the end. I mean, my hope is to battle through these and spend the the final part of the challenge, so just September playing Skyrim, and just try and give that the love that it deserves. Um, That's but, cool, mate. That'd we'll cool. see. I mean, the, the weather's gorgeous at the moment. Um, I think, as you mentioned earlier, it, it's too warm. It's too nice to be inside playing games, uh, which really makes things difficult when you've got a pile to get through. <laughs> um. Terry. Hello. Um, yeah, I kind of did something. Yeah, I um, pre-ordered the Xbox One and the PS4, um, which I'm super excited about. Um, November yeah. can't come quick enough because, let's face it, this challenge, there's been a few kind of close calls with some of the games out there, and I've been very close to buying them, but I've been very reserved um, over the past what? year. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was this? Oh, funny, man. Um so yeah, November, November can't come quick enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I <laughs> I finally got my um, yeah finally got my travel sorted out for Eurogamer as well. So that I'm fully I'm sorted out completely now. So I'm just really looking forward to that now. Just kind of experiencing that for the first time, uh, awesome. which is all good as well. Fantastic! Can't wait. Seriously, can't wait. <laughs> So the Yoshi section, we've got one in, um, one from Drunk Rogue, and he says, what's going to be the first game you buy, or are you going to wait for the next gen? Jess? Ooh, um, it's a toss-up on the first game I'm going to buy, because by then, I'll have three games to choose from. There'll be Saints um, Row, there'll be Saints GTA. Saints 4, 
GTA 5 and Grid 2. Um, I believe I'll probably play GTA first, then Grid, then Saints, or maybe Saints, then Grid, I don't know. Those three, anyway, are my first game. Um, as for the next gen, I haven't even ordered any consoles or anything. Um, I'm probably not going to drop on that until um, a few months in, to be honest with you. And mm. I don't think that I'm going to be getting that much gaming time to do that, and I can try and avoid, for the first time, um, the early adopters tax. Yeah. Okay. Um, Terry. Assuming um, you don't buy anything between now and the end of the challenge, which I know is unlikely. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm doing pretty good at this thus far, so <laughs> it's, it's you know what can you say? Um, I don't know. I mean, we've got the the like Jay said, you know, GTA Five and and Saints Row are kind of the main two, uh, but there are some that I'm kind of wanting to go buy. I don't think I'd, Metal Gear Rising kind of sticks out, but I don't think that would some, be something I'd buy. So I'd probably go for. Assuming I don't get Saints Row before the end of the challenge, <clears throat> um, I probably get GTA Five, uh, <laughs> GTA Five, and then yeah, hold out for the new consoles. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, I think for me, um, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be picking up Animal Crossing to take. Shut up, dude. <laughs> no, listen. Right. I'm going to be going down to Eurogamer. And with all how the street pass works and everything, I think that's something I want to experience. And realistically, the end of the challenge for me is going to end at four o'clock the night before Eurogamer. So the the Wednesday evening, um, my plan is to put the uh, PlayStation Plus code in. So by the time I get back from Eurogamer, uh, the hard drive is full of goodness. Um, and I'll buy the digital code for Animal Crossing for the way down and maybe even um, get two copies of Halo 4 so they're sat on the doorstep for when we get home as well. Doing it right. Very yeah. Good. So, um, yeah. So, uh, the very first game I buy will be Animal Crossing. <sighs> You're a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of people online that, that can back me up on this. It, it's something. It's more. It's more of an experience than a game. It, it appeals to a special kind of people. But... Is this like Nintendo Minecraft? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Listen, right, when you get it, remember how we <laughs> talked into Minecraft and you went, oh yeah, I, I don't know why I wait so long. It's one of those games. It really is. It's just an absolute time sink. And Enabler. you don't even know why you're playing it. Enabler. Yep, thanks. Cheers, Darren. Right, um, i tell you what I did. I did a little roll call to see who was left in the challenge. Um, our lass is definitely out, the evil bitch. Um, <laughs> um, Welsh, um, Welsh Mage, he's out. Welsh Benno, out. ADHD, out. And as we know, um, Steve, who are you dafty? Um, which he's got legitimate reasons. The rest of you, losers. <laughs> Big losers. <laughs> Um, the one still in though, um, and give yourself a pat on the back, is obviously Drunk Rogue. Um, games 24 7, uh, Digi, uh, so Digital Prior. There's Chris Pratt, um, obviously I'm in it, and then and then there's these names on here, which is, is this bit murky font or something. Fox Hounder 01, apparently he's still Whoa! doing some kind of challenge. Fucking pat never, on the back never of this should one. be in there. Make <laughs> his running name red on that list. <laughs> Jay Stokes, apparently. Oh, sorry, sorry. On here it says Jace Loophole Stokes, right? Okay. <laughs> PC uh, not included. <laughs> and Psy Rental Copy Stevens. There we go. No, Psy Review, Review Copy, copy Stevens. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, he's got two loopholes, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, now, there's two people who have tried to contact Burke Garaldi, but let us know if you're still in the challenge. Uh, Trev DXB. Now, I know you sent an email last show, so I assume you're still in. And Cheesy Pete. Um, are you still in, fella? Just be interesting to, when we get to the end, see who actually made it. So that's it. That brings us to the end of another show. Another month of the challenge gone. Um, we're nearly there. Um, some of us are already there. Terry. What? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll continue battling on um, and following the fortunes of Darren as he battles against him, his own inner demons <laughs> and his, his <laughs> wife. <laughs> Remember, if you want to get in touch with us, please feel free to do so on the Twitter at YOS Challenge. Also on the emails, YOS Challenge at gmail.com. Um, yeah, join us again next time when no doubt we'll have all fallen off the wagon 
and um, will have made Darren play some games. Wow. Yeah. Um, before we do shoot off, though, I want to just say thank you to the people who've um, given us some nice reviews on the iTunes. Um, getting a few of those and uh, some real nice words being said about it. So uh, thanks to everyone who's done that. Yeah. Oh, just one thing as well. Um, Sai, as even though he can't make it, he sent through a message just saying, "Remember to mention the 171 new listeners on Reddit." I'm like, okay, thank you very Sweet. much. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> So, until next episode, goodbye. Cheers, bye-bye. See you later.